Today, we're going to pray a prayer for the best day of your life. Let us pray. As you view this day in prayer, within your mind, think of your mind as a mental garden. As you pray, may you be infilled with the thoughts of God in this mental garden. In your mental garden, you are now, with the help of God, weeding out those old human thoughts inside of you that produce worry and fear and limitation. Deeply, consciously, with feeling, you commune with God. You allow the planting of the eternal ideas of life, intelligence, God's law, and love. This day, you agree to be in the mind of the eternal God. You decree that this day shall be the best day of your life thus far. Accept this now in the silence of prayer. This is a day when you are not living alone in human mind. This is a day when you allow your thoughts to become one with the thoughts of God. This is a day when you allow divine ideas to become yours. This is a day which is filled with ideas of prosperity and success. This is a day filled with thoughts of vitality, health, holiness, and happiness. You rely on God's supply. There is an endless supply available to you, and in prayer, you tap into this right now. God's abundance is everywhere present. As you sit in prayer, all tension and worry are transmuted, changed, uplifted. There is a joy of a harvest inside of you, and you realize that this moment is the beginning of something you are building in spiritual consciousness. It is the beginning of the greatest day that you have ever had. Rest in the silence of prayer. You see right now that each moment is wonderful. Each moment is filled with well-being. The living, breathing energies of life fill this day with beauty, and with health, and you take a deep breath of life. Your human eyes reflect that which you hold in prayer. You see good, and you see richness. You see unlimited supply everywhere. You are included in all that God has, and all that God has is yours for the asking. Unlimited supply, unlimited health, unlimited love, unlimited talents are yours every moment of this day. You demonstrate this because you consent with your human mind to the instant, constant, overflowing of God's love. Through the power of the spoken word in prayer, I decree for you. There is no lack or limitation in this day. You refuse to believe in lack or limitation in any area of your life because you are a child of God. Hold to this truth now of who you are 
in the silence of prayer. For perhaps the first time, you accept what it means to totally trust God's supply and rely upon God. You practice this thinking now. It is the truth about you, the truth about your life. You hold to this and nothing else in your thinking. God does not limit you and you do not limit God. The health, vitality, prosperity, and good feelings that you are experiencing are perpetual. No longer do you hold to the belief that this is only temporal. No longer do you accept in mind any sense of human limitation. This is perpetual inside of you. It cannot be taken from you. This is something you hold and you have always. In prayer, you accept that this day is the day that you are forever established in God and God is forever established in you. This day, dear God, I am here in spiritual consciousness to say with my human mind that I forever break the bonds of limitation for all time. I no longer accept limited thinking in any area of my life. I ask that my cup runneth over morning, noon, night, awake, asleep, at work, at play, at home, or away from home. I will always feel that steady, unbroken, perpetual, ceaseless stream of God's supply. Rest in the silence of prayer. Accept this now. I bless God by giving myself totally to God. I praise God by allowing the worship to happen in the true temple of God, my human body. I thank God by living my life after the fashion and manner and likeness of my Creator. This is the best day I have ever lived. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.